Hello, I'm Chris Picario. I'm a research manager for the cattle business team here at the Purina Animal Nutrition Center. Well, when you look at how cattlemen are successful, they look at two things. The number of calves that they have and the size of those calves that we need. So those two go hand in hand. So you gotta get those cows bred in order to have a calf. So the nutritional program, get that developed, is uh, very, very critical. It affects her body condition score. So she can rebreed earlier in the breeding season, but it also affects milk production because she is milking more. Therefore, the calf can nurse more milk and grow better. Therefore, our weaning weights go up. And that developing fetus, we are providing the missing nutrients that may be needed for future growth of the second generation, not only for replacement heifers on reproduction, but also if those steers are going to the feedlot, it also affects their performance at the feed yard and also uh, the quality of the carcass that may be obtained from those. So as the animals are growing, or as the animals are going from gestation to uh, lactation, or they're having a milk production increase, energy demands go up. And normally at that same time, our forage availability and forage qualities are going down. I think the biggest challenges producers face with the breeding program is they think they've got adequate forages out there at times, and most of the times, probably they don't. So when you think about the uh, all seasons nutrition program, or as some will call it, the year round nutrition program. Really, it takes the guesswork out of what the animals need. Uh, with our intake modifying technology products, uh, intakes of those products change as forage quality changes, and the technology works so that, that we don't have to be concerned about cattle over consuming or under consuming as long as we have adequate forage availability. Uh, and that allows the animals to reach their genetic potential and allow the animals to stay in a proper body condition so they can rebreed in a timely manner. And hopefully we get two thirds of our calf crop in the first 42 days of a 60 day calving window.